Hey everybody! Welcome to uh, Smart Live class. If you're uh, if you're new, welcome. I see a lot of people in the chat who are not new, and they they come every class every Tuesday and Friday at this time. Guys, welcome Rosa, Donna, uh, Fatima, Mona, Nitesh, Nitesh. How are you, Steve Lynn? What's up? Noor Noor, new student, but uh, but uh, I have seen her in Sean's class, and I saw her in my class on Tuesday. The French Leo, Milena, so many people, guys. I, I can't say all your names, but keep keep chatting, keep leaving your comments. I will see them. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just put the questions in the in the YouTube chat. And remember, if you're if you're on your phone, please use the YouTube app uh, to watch these videos, and then you can you can chat uh, with myself and the other students in the class. Um, if you're not using the YouTube chat, uh, if you're not using the YouTube app, uh, probably you can't chat. Okay, let's get started. Uh, let's get started. Okay. Um, nothing, nothing here. <laughs> uh, first, I wanted to uh, I wanted to show you guys um, if you want to if you want to um, know when we do our classes, guys, subscribe to our channel here. I'll make this a little bigger. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! So subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. And also make sure you uh, click the bell, and the bell means it will it will tell you when we're we're doing a class. Also, please uh, like the video uh, if you if you like it, of course, of course. Now, uh, premium subscribers, premium subscribers, uh, pay money to help us to support uh, support smart smart live class. And the premium subscribers do lots of homework uh, between classes, and uh, we, we we do quizzes and we do exams. Uh, we're going to do an exam, premium subscribers, a, a long exam after Unit Four, so get ready. Um, also, we you you will receive a certificate, uh, a certificate. Let me. Uh, I always do this. I, I think that's a difficult word for some students. But this is a certificate. You will receive a certificate when you finish. Okay, um, you it's a it's a monthly right. You pay monthly, and you can try it for one month free. And uh, if you want to get more information about this, please go to http www.smart.me slash smart slash live and I will put this link in the chat right now check it out check it out now um, we have a lot of people signing up uh, signing up to be premium subscribers uh, I guess we've got I have 17 now is that right 17 that's wonderful thank you very much Natash you are a premium subscriber this is you you're right here Right, but guys, this is smart and smart. Uh, you know, to sign in, uh, we ask that you use a Google uh, account, a Google account. So, Natesh, you emailed me, and I think it was Outlook.com. So, so you can sign in to Smart with uh, with with Google. Uh, yeah, I have some students here that uh, have been with me for a long time. Pascoa, I love you, Pascoa. Zara, Noriko, Noriko's in Japan, and right now she's sleeping, but she watches all the classes on YouTube. Yeah, you you don't you don't you don't you know Anthony, Anthony, where is Anthony? Anthony and Andre, these guys do their homework and they watch the classes on YouTube at their own time. So you can be a premium subscriber even if, even if, you can be a premium subscriber ba, 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 even if you can't watch the classes live. That's okay, that's okay, it's no problem, no problem. So uh, 
So here's the link. I put it in the chat. Also, if you guys want to talk to somebody about this, email my friend Zach, uh, uh, Zach at smart.me, and um, he can answer your questions about that. Now, premium subscribers, uh, when you go into Smart, you can go into the menu and click Open Blog. And Open Blog, remember guys, I, I have a blog about all my classes and I put the homework, I put the homework uh, information. And sometimes I make, uh, I make special videos just for the uh, premium subscribers. Uh, so here's uh, an example. So that's pretty cool. Now um, I, I want to start a I want to start a, a weekly whoa 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 a weekly video chat uh, for the premium subscribers, and uh, I sent I sent this to my premium subscribers this week. Are you interested in doing a weekly video chat with the other students in the class? And 75% of the students said yes, yes, they are interested in doing this. And my suggestion, Marianne, what's up? Uh, my suggestion is to do the video chat, the video chatting at the same time as my class. So you see, my YouTube class starts at 9 a.m. in Canada on Tuesdays and Fridays, right now, right now. Is this time good for you to do the video chat on Wednesdays or Thursdays? And 83% of the people said yes, it's, it's a good time. So I think we will continue doing that every Wednesday, every Wednesday at Mark's normal class time check your email and you will receive a link to the video chat. Okay, premium subscribers uh, only, only, right? And we're gonna use, for the, for the video chat, we're gonna use Google Hangouts. So please watch this video on my blog about how to set up uh, Google Hangouts. Hey everybody, everybody. Okay. Uh, test, test. All right, let's 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 start the lesson. Let's start the lesson, everybody. Um, let's go, let's go. Now, today I said we're going to do, we're going to do a, a listening activity uh, to start class. We're gonna do a listening activity. And then we're gonna talk about some grammar. We're gonna talk about modal verbs today. And uh, some other phrases, uh, some other phrases that we use like modal verbs. So let's start. We're going to go in SMART to Unit 4, Literature, and we're going to open Listening 4.1. Uh, so if you're a premium subscriber, you can, you can open SMART. If you're not, it's OK. It's OK. So first, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to ask for you guys to answer, your que answer these questions in the chat. First one, do you, do you learn better in class? Or do you learn better by by doing homework? What do you guys think? Do you, do you guys learn better in, in in a class, or do you learn better by doing homework? Because I think myself, I I, I like to do homework. I like to think by myself, and um, I really I, I mean I don't like homework, but I like I like learning uh, by myself, and I like thinking by myself. So you guys uh, you guys let me know in the chat about yourselves. Ah, Ekaterina is both. Saul is in class. She likes class. Dr. Waza likes homework. Noor Noor likes homework. Interesting. Interesting. Marianne likes both. Um, yeah, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, Pascoa, I think I learn better doing homework. Yeah, Pascoa always does her homework. Um, class, class. Okay, cool. All right, let's move on. Why do you think teachers give homework? Why do you think teachers give homework? You know, what, I'm a teacher and I'm also a student. I, I study uh, about computers. I really like computers and, and, and sometimes I, I, I think, why do teachers give homework? Why, why do you think teachers give homework? 
It's a good question because some some teachers at our school here in Vancouver, Canada, the the Canadian College of English Language, some 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 teachers don't give homework, and then Sean tells them, you know, Sean, the other teacher in Smart Live class, he's 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 the director, so he manages all the teachers, and he says, you guys, come on, you got to give homework, you have to give homework, to practice better the things we learned. Yes, thank you, Pascoa. To warm up, yeah, yeah, Milena, that's a, that's a good point. To warm up, to warm up, yeah. Sometimes it's to warm up, to practice. Uh, Donna, teachers give homework to know if we understand. Yeah, that's a really, that's, <laughs> Nitesh, best answer, to punish us. Ah, yes, Nitesh, to punish us. But then he, he wrote smiley faces, so he's just joking. He's just joking, yeah. Okay, punish. What does that mean, guys? Punish. Some students maybe don't understand. Punish. 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 What does punish mean? I don't know. What does is, what is punish mean? Help me. Help me. Help me explain this word, guys. Punish. To make, to make somebody suffer because they did something wrong. To, to, okay, that's a, good, that's a good sentence, of course. To make somebody suffer. To make somebody experience a bad thing. Yeah, because they, they, they did a bad thing. Okay, uh, let's do one more question. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ah, have you ever heard of a graphic novel? Have you ever heard of a graphic novel? Now, uh, on t in Tuesday's class, we, 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 we talked about a novel. You guys remember this word, novel? Novel is a, is a type of book, right? A novel. These are, uh, well, here are three novels, right? <laughs> I, I don't punish students when they don't do homework. I don't do that, no. Uh, he, these are novels. So what's, what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's a graphic novel? What's a graphic novel? Graphic novels are really, 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 really popular in, uh, in Canada and USA. Now you guys understand photograph, right? What, what, does, what, does, what does the graph mean in, in, in photograph? What, is, what, is, what, do you, what do you think this means, a graphic novel? Well, um, Graph, well, nur, nur, a big book, yeah, a, a graphic novel, a graphic novel is kind of like a big, uh, long uh, comic book, comic book. Yeah, Marianne's right, it's, it's like comics, it's like comics. Now, uh, some people maybe don't understand comics, so let's, uh, let's, let's find some pictures of comics. Uh, comics. Here are comics, right? Of course, Superman, Superman, a uh, very famous comic book, and uh, of course now they make movies about about Superman, right? Um, so a, a graphic novel actually is a whoa. What's happening here with with the keyboard? A graphic novel. Let's uh, click this link. Uh, a graphic novel is uh, kind of a long book. Here are some graphic novels. You can go to a, you can go to stores, you can go to stores in, in Canada and, and USA. I'm sure your countries too, and you can, you can buy graphic novels, graphic novels, and they're they're pretty big. Uh, they're pretty big books, beautiful pictures. So if you like pictures, check out graphic novels. Uh, many movies come from graphic novels. Many many movies. Um, one of my favorite movies uh, is called The Dark Knight. The Dark Knight. Do you guys know this movie? The Dark Knight. Of course, uh, the Joker uh, was in this movie, right? Heath Ledger. The Dark Knight. And um, The Dark Knight, uh, The Dark Knight comes from a, most of the story comes from a graphic novel. Uh, it, it, it's a it's an old old uh, graphic novel uh, th called Batman: The The Dark Knight Returns. Uh, when I was a child, I loved Batman. I loved Batman. I read Batman comic books. Anybody else like Batman? I don't like Superman. I don't like Spider Man. I don't like Iron Man. I don't like Captain America. But I loved Batman. I loved Batman. 
Anyways, that, those are called graphic novels. Graphic novels. Okay, so we're going to we're going to l do a listening activity, like I said, and uh, first we're going to listen to Emily talk about her homework. We're going to listen to Emily talk about her homework. So I want you guys to listen and choose the best am uh, answer. So Emily, something read two chapters of a novel for homework. So she mustn't, she hasn't got to, she have got to, or she has to. So we're doing a listening activity, but also, also we are going to think about grammar a little bit too. We're going to think about grammar. Okay. Um, okay. So is everybody ready? Just type, just type your uh, answer in the chat, please. Okay. Just type your answer in the chat. Okay. I'm going to turn off my microphone and start the listening. Tonight, I've got English homework to do. We have to finish a couple of chapters of the novel we're reading in my class. Okay, let's start that again. Let's start that again. She's, she, a Emily has a really, really, really uh, North American voice and she speaks pretty fast. So let's listen to that again. Tonight, I've got English homework to do. We have to finish a couple of chapters of the novel we're reading in my class. If okay, so two times. So Emily mustn't. She hasn't got to, have got to, or has to. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. She has to. She has to. Yeah. So we're of course you know today we're going to talk about modal verbs and uh, yeah. So uh, so the answer here is she has to. She has to. Uh, this isn't a modal verb, but we will talk about that later. Okay, uh, B, her teacher something if students didn't read the chapters. Her teacher something if students didn't read the chapters. Now, in unit three, I think we talked about find out. Find out means learn or know or understand, right? When you, when you get information. So her teacher has a way of finding out. That means the teacher knows if the, if the students didn't do the chapters. Her teacher asks questions. Her teacher doesn't care or her teacher gives more <laughs> homework. Let's, uh, let's listen to the answer. Let's listen. Tonight, I've got English homework to do. We have to finish a couple of chapters of the novel we're reading in my class. Sorry, I, before we listen to the answer, what did she say? She said, I have to, or I think she said, we have to read, we have to read chapters uh, of a novel. We have to. So Emily has to, we have to, I have to, she has to. Okay. All right. Let's continue listening to find the answer for B. Okay. If I don't do it, I'll be in trouble tomorrow during class. My teacher checks every day if we've done our homework or not by giving us questions about the chapters to answer. It's late. I've got to go. She speaks fast. She speaks fast. Let's listen again. Tonight, I've got English homework to do. We have to finish a couple of chapters of the novel we're reading in my class. If I don't do it, I'll be in trouble tomorrow during class. My teacher checks every day if we've done our homework or not by giving us questions about the chapters to answer. It's late. I've got to go. Tonight, I've got English homework to do. We have to finish a couple of chapters of the novel we're reading in my class. If I don't do it, I'll be in trouble tomorrow during class. My teacher checks every day if we've done our homework or not by giving us questions about the chapters to answer. It's late. I've got to go. Okay. She speak, do, you guys, do, you guys, do you guys understand Emily? Do you understand what she's saying? Emily is, uh, 
uh, is my friend, and and uh, she speaks pretty fast, doesn't she? Is that is that uh, Vivu? It's too fast for you, Vivu. Vivek, did you change your name to Vivu? You changed your name to Vivu? Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good, guys. Very good. She, uh, the teacher asks questions about the chapters, right? Right? The teacher asks the questions. So, uh, yeah, she speaks fast. She speaks fast. But you have to, you have to practice. You have to practice listening. Just, just try, try to focus on the important words, right? Okay, now let's listen to, uh, to this guy. And, uh, and, and Mark uh, is talking about learning lines for a school play. Now, do you guys remember this meaning of, of play, of play? We talked about this meaning of play on Tuesday, right? A school play. So let's type that, school play. Now, I don't know if Google will understand my meaning. Oh, no, Google understood my meaning. Here's a school play, right? School play. And, uh, and, uh, and if you are in a play, you must remember the words that you say, right? And these are called, <laughs> Vivek hates Emily. She speaks too fast. I'm sorry, Vivek. But you have to remember your lines, right? You, 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 have, to, you have to learn your lines. Right when you're when you're an actor, you have lines, Ekaterina. You ha you you have lines, right? This is what you say. This is what you say. So let's listen to this uh, super sexy voice, and uh, and uh, let me just make this a little bigger. Okay. So Mark can learn lines, might learn lines, has got to learn lines and doesn't have to learn lines. Let's, uh, let's listen to um, the really, really nice voice here. Homework tonight? Um, well, I'm in a school play, so I have to learn my lines. And unfortunately, my character has a lot of lines in the play. Okay, 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 okay. So, yeah, really nice voice, right? Okay, so, so Mark can, might, what, what does this mean, has got to? Let's, let's talk about this a little bit. Has got to. What, what is, before we listen again, what does has got to mean, guys? What's, what's another way to say has got to? What's another way to say has got to? Uh, yeah, okay, Chari, yeah. Has, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, thank you, Ekaterina. Has got to is the same thing as has to. And what does has to mean? What's another way to say has to? Well, another way to say has to is must. So let's listen to uh, the beautiful voice again. I'm just joking, I'm just joking. Okay, and, uh, and let's try to, try to listen for the answer. Homework tonight? Um, well, I'm in a school play, so I have to learn my lines, and unfortunately... Okay, did you, did, you hear the, did you hear the voice? Did you hear what I said? I said, I have to learn lines. I have to. I have to. It's really fast. It's really fast in English. I have to. I have to. I have to. I have to. So here's our answer for, for C. Here's our answer. Okay. All right, now, it is necessary for Mark to do homework tonight. It is necessary or it isn't necessary. How, how, how do we usually say, well, not usually, but how, how, what's another way to say uh, necessary or isn't necessary? Um, what's another way to say it, it is necessary? Pascoa, is, is Zara here today? I don't think so. I think Elena's on vacation. Yeah, Stephen, I have to, I have to. But what's a what's a what's another what's another way to say it's necessary? What what does necessary mean, guys? And what about isn't necessary? Mm, Nitesh, it's required. Okay, yeah, yeah. But what's a what's a normal way, a really normal way to say it's necessary? Yeah, and you got yeah, you're right. It's important. It's important. Required is a little formal, Nitesh. 
Um, I'm looking for, look at Dimitri's answer, guys. Dimitri. Yeah, need. Need. Need to. Or have to. Right? And, 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 and how, do you say, how do you say it isn't necessary with need to? How do you say it isn't necessary with need to? How do you say it isn't necessary with have to? We're listening, but we're also thinking about the grammar. Okay? How, how do you say uh, need to in, in the negative? Uh, I'm waiting for your answers here. Uh, needn't. Yeah, needn't is not very popular in, in North American English, Nitesh. Yeah, okay, so don't or, 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 or doesn't or didn't need to or have to. Okay, I don't need to. He doesn't need to. Uh, yesterday, I didn't need to. Marianne, you don't have to. You don't have to. It means it's unnecessary. It's not necessary. You can do it. You can do it, but it's not necessary. Ah, uh, must not, Abdul. Must not is a very different meaning. We're going to talk about this later. So, it is necessary for Mark to do homework tonight, or it isn't necessary? What do you guys think? Let's, let's listen. Let's listen. Fortunately, my character has a lot of lines in the play. Our next practice isn't until next Thursday, so I guess I don't have to do anything tonight, but I'd better do it soon. I really must know my lines by Thursday. Tonight? Um, well, I'm in a school play, so I have to learn my lines, and unfortunately, my character has a lot of lines in the play. Our next practice isn't until next Thursday, so I guess I don't have to do anything tonight. So, my next practice, when's my next practice? Listen to the last part again, guys. Listen to the last part. in the play. Our next practice isn't until next Thursday, so I guess I don't have to do anything tonight. I said our, our next practice, this is maybe a little bit difficult English, our next practice isn't until, what did I say? I think I said next week or something. Isn't until next week. Our next practice isn't until next week. Yeah, Mohammed, you're right. You're right. It's it is, but it's necessary. Yeah, it's necessary for me to know the lines. But what about doing homework tonight? Doing homework tonight. Homework tonight. Do I have to do homework tonight? Remember, necessary we say I have to, but isn't necessary we say I don't have to, or he doesn't have to. Let's listen one more time. One more time. Don't sing. Don't sing, Mark. Okay. Um, well, I'm in a school play, so I have to learn my lines, and unfortunately, my character has a lot of lines in the play. Our next practice isn't until next Thursday, so I guess I don't have to do anything tonight. Okay, that's the last time we're going to listen to that guy. All right. All right. It isn't necessary. It isn't necessary. He said, I said, I guess I don't have to do anything tonight. I guess I don't have to do anything tonight. So tonight, it, this means it's not necessary. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Okay. Uh, he needs to know his lines. He needs to. So it's necessary. He has to. He needs to know his lines before when? Before when? Before he performs the play on stage. These are all words we talked about on Tuesday. Performs the play on stage. His practice tomorrow or tonight? Let's listen. But I'd better do it soon. I really must know my lines by Thursday. So what's happening on Thursday? What's, what's happening on Thursday? I really must know my lines by Thursday. 
I really must know my lines by Thursday. Somebody's coming in here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Let's listen one more time to Mark. What's happening on Thursday, guys? What's happening on Thursday? Um, well, I'm in a school play, so I have to learn my lines, and unfortunately, my character has a lot of lines in the play. Our next practice isn't until next Thursday, so I guess I don't have to do anything tonight, but I'd better do it soon. I really must know my lines by Thursday. So what's happening on Thursday? You guys are smart. You guys already know the answer. It's my, my next practice, right? Okay, let's, let's listen to one more person, and we're going to listen to Sean this time. And Sean has a math test. Math test. Now listen, look, math. In North American English, in Canada and USA, math is just math. But crazy British English, they, they, they add an S for some reason. Um, I don't know. Uh, no S. No S in Canada or, or USA. But in British English, they say maths. <laughs> maths. It's difficult to say. Maths. Maths. Can you guys say that? Maths. <laughs> it's difficult to understand. <laughs> or difficult to say. All right, let's listen to Sean. Now, we got three questions. His math test. When is his math test? Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, or this weekend? Also for sh for homework, Sean has to read a novel. He has to write about uh, great expectations. Great expectations. Uh, we will listen. He will explain. He has to read great expectations, or he has to write about the author. The author of great expectations. So he has to read, he has to write, he has to read Great Expectations, or he has to write about the author. Remember the word author? Okay, let's, uh, let's listen to Sean. Sean has a really nice voice. Let's listen to Sean. Yeah, I've got homework to do this weekend. Actually, I've got a lot of homework to do this weekend. Let's see. First, I have to study for a math test I have on Monday. I'm pretty concerned about that. I don't think I'm going to do very well. After that, I've got to write about an author we're studying in my 19th century English literature class. I have to write 5,000 words about Charles Dickens and the impact he had on English literature. Have you ever heard of him? His most famous book is called Great Expectations. Yeah, so what did he say? He, he, this one was easy, right? When's, when's his math test? You guys got the answer. Monday, right? That one's pretty easy, I think. We, we heard that pretty clearly. But, he, but Pascoa and Nur Nur, he, he, he's, this weekend he's talking about his homework this weekend, right? Because he has, to, he has to study. And he didn't say has to. He didn't say must. He said, I think he said this. He said, I've got to. I've got to. And we're going to study about this very soon. What does I've got to mean? It means I have to. And what does have to mean? It means I need to. All very similar to must. All very similar to must. Good job, Alejandra. Good job, Ekaterina. He has to read Great Expectations? I'm not sure about that. Listen again. Listen again. Let's listen one more time to Sean. Let's listen one more time to Sean. Where is, where did he start? Let me, maybe here? I've got to write, I'm pretty concerned about that. A lot of homework to do this weekend. Yeah, I've got homework to do this weekend. Actually, I've got a lot of homework to do this weekend. Let's see, first I have to study for a math test I have on Monday. I'm pretty. Did you hear that? He has to study for a math test that he has on Monday. He has a math test on Monday. Let's continue concerned about that. I don't think I'm going to do very well. After that, I've got to write about an author we're studying in my 19th century English literature class. I have to write 5,000 words about Charles Dickens and the impact he had on English literature. Have you ever heard of him? 
Now, has he has he talked about great expectations yet? Has he talked about that yet? Right? I think he's talked about the the author's name. Nur, no, 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 no. Must and should are very different. Very different. They're not the same. Not the same. Five thousand words about Charles Dickens and the impact he had on English literature. Have you ever heard of him? His most famous book is called Great Expectations. Free English literature class. I'm going to do, let's see, first I have to study for a math test I have on Monday. I'm pretty concerned about that. I don't think I'm going to do very well. After that, I've got to write about an author we're studying in my 19th century English literature class. I have to write 5,000 words about Charles Dickens and the impact he had on English literature. Have you ever heard of him? What does he have to write about, guys? What does he have to write about? He has to write about Great Expectations, Pascoa? I don't think so. I don't think so. Ah, Marianne Duval, beautiful answer. Marianne changed her name. Thank you, Marianne. Um, what does he have to write about? Everybody look at Marianne's comment. It's perfect, it's perfect. He has to write, he has to write five, well, I think he, he has to write 5,000 words about Charles Dickens and the impact. I should for, forgot my comma here. And remember this word, impact? Impact, right? We talked about this on t Tuesday. Affect or influence. Actually, we'll, if it's a, okay, effect or affect. Um, and the impact he had on English literature. Unit four is about in, uh, literature. So he has to write 5,000 words about Charles Dickens and the impact, right? He changed a lot about English literature. Okay, good. So clearly, clearly, so of course the answer I think is he has to write about the author of great expectations. And that one was uh, a little difficult, right? That one was a little difficult. So premium subscribers, of course, you guys can, can uh, listen to this uh, many, many times, listening for one, right? Listen, listen, listen to it, Pascoa, Ekaterina, Rosa, listen to it at, at home, okay? Um, and, and I want you guys to uh, you know, uh, listen to the pronunciation, especially of, of have to and have got to, you know, has got to. Try to, try to listen for that because it's, it's very, very fast in English. It's, it's very, very, very fast. Um, I see some people are, at, are talking about affect and effect. What, what's the difference here, guys? What's the difference, effect and effect? And even, even, even Canadians and Americans, probably many, uh, don't understand the difference. Uh, so if you don't understand the difference, don't worry. It's okay. Well, please listen, but, <laughs> but please understand that many Canadians and Americans, uh, like example, probably Donald Trump doesn't know the difference between affect and effect. Okay, very simple. Affect is a verb and effect is a noun. Now, uh, listen, effect does have a verb form, but the meaning is super different. Okay, yeah, Marianne knows this. Very good, very good. Affect is a verb. But the noun form of affect is effect or effect. We, we have two pronunciations, really. Affect or effect. Um, so let's listen to the pr pronunciation of this one. Uh, let's listen to British English and North American. Effect. 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 So it's pretty pretty similar, right? British English and North American English. I love this dictionary because it it I love this dictionary. I always talk about this because it it shows you the uh, 
the American and the British pronunciation. I, I really like that. Uh, but let's let's look at uh, effect now. Remember, I said I said uh, I said effect also has a verb, but it's a very different meaning, and it's not super important. Okay, it's not really common. Okay, it's not really common. Uh, but let's listen to the pronunciation of uh, th of this word. Okay. Effect. 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 Okay, so they are the same meaning, and, and why are we talking about this? Because in Unit 4, we have, a, we have a vocabulary word, which means impact. And impact means to have uh, a big effect, a big effect, a big, a big change, okay? Uh, it's okay, Valerie, you're, you're allowed to sleep. Welcome. Well, you're well. So the weather affects me or uh, or affects me. Which one, guys? What do you think? <laughs> Google <laughs> Google just told you the answer. Google just told you the answer, right? Cuz this is in this sentence, this one is is the verb, right? So Google, I use Google Documents. It's awesome. Uh, Google knows that no, this is this is this is this is a noun, stupid. This is a noun. You shouldn't use this word. So the weather affects me. The weather affects me. Okay, let's uh, let's 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 uh, move on now. Like I said, premium subscribers, you can listen to the final person, the fourth person, uh, Lane, Lane, my friend Lane, and he's going to talk about graphic novels. And I don't I don't think we have time to talk about uh, to listen to that one today. Okay. But yeah, premium subscribers, remember you guys can you guys can use smart. You guys can can listen and you can you can open the exercises, right? Okay, uh, so we're gonna move on to grammar 4.1. And you know, we've talked a lot, we've talked a lot about uh, have to and, and need to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, actually, here, I'll do this. I'm just gonna open the presentation. And uh, it looks nicer. It looks nicer. Oh, so, okay, so grammar 4.1. We're going to talk about this today. Um, expressing necessity. So express means communicate, to say. Necessity means like necessary, need to, have to, have got to, must. We're going to talk about these. But first, first we, we uh, well, here's an example. Uh, I've got to return these books to the library, right? Sean has got to st study for a math test this weekend, right? I've got to um, take care of my daughter uh, tomorrow. Um, somebody's asking me about the uh, website. Well, we ask that students sign up at uh, smart.me slash smart slash live, okay? And uh, I'll put this in the chat again. Okay, cool. Um, so we've talked about this in the listening. We've heard some examples, right? Emily has to, she has got to, she needs to uh, read some chapters for homework. Um, if you, it, the exercises you need to sign up, okay, guys? You need to sign up um, if you want to want to open the exercises or something. Okay, now we're, we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about have to and need to and, and, and have got to, but we first must understand modal verbs. And I think you guys, I think you guys, you know, I think you guys understand modal verbs. We, we, we've, we've talked about many modal verbs already in this class. Uh, I mean, um, since we, we started uh, 18 classes ago. But you guys know, what are, what are some examples? Let me ask you, please type, me, type in the chat all the modal verbs you guys know. What are, what are some modal verbs? And, and I know this is really easy for some of you, but for some students, this is not easy. Maybe they don't understand what a modal verb is. So please help the other students in the class. Nitesh, thank you very much. Uh, can. Vivu could, um, Stephen Blair must, uh, Vivu, thank you, might, oh, Rosa, might, should, 
will, ought to. Yeah, these are all modal verbs, modal verbs. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, how many modal verbs are there in English? Well, that's a difficult question because some people, some people, you know, they, they say have to is a modal verb. It's not a modal verb. Okay, shall, thank you, Marianne, must, oh, I already wrote must, may, might, would, um, anything else, can't, blah, 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 blah. ought to, somebody wrote ought to, I think Vivu wrote ought to, anything else, am I, am I missing anything, guys, am I missing anything, would, can't, could, could, could. I think that's it, I think that's it, um, yeah, so, yeah, you know, and, and then sometimes need, uh, is actually a, a modal verb, um, but that's very advanced grammar, and my class is not advanced grammar. Okay, let's look at let's look at this question. Vivu has a question. Um, gosh, I have to say Vivu now, not Vivek. That's very uh, a big change for me, Vivek. Um, so let's make this bigger so everybody can see. Uh, so Vivu wants to know, is this one correct or is, is this one correct? What, which one do you guys think? What, what, which one is correct? Will he has or will he have? Um, will he has or will he have? So we will, we will talk about uh, shall and ought to. Uh, very, uh, not today, but we will talk about it next week, okay? So um, we will talk about that. Uh, good question. Shall and ought to, we will talk about next week. Um, you, you can address me. You can call me Vivek, okay? I'll call you Vivek. Yeah, that one's more, more uh, familiar for me. Okay, so we, we have to learn the, okay, modal verbs. Well, Vivek, we will answer your question, but you can see the answers in the chat. And Pascoa said the second one is correct. Yeah, let's learn. Let's learn about modal verbs a little bit before we before we talk to before we talk about um, have to and has got to and need to. Okay, modal verbs uh, must is there. My head is blocking must. Okay, we have to fix these slides a little bit. Uh, can, could, would, should. These are auxiliary verbs, helping verbs, and they're helping verbs be, do, have, but but these ones have a special meaning. Right? They usually have special meanings. You guys know will is about the future. Uh, you know, sh should is about advice. You guys know that. You know that. Okay. Now listen. You have to. You <laughs> listen. Just listen to some basic rules. Okay. Some some important rules. These rules are always true about modal verbs. All modal verbs. You must follow these rules. They don't use an S, okay? The, we, you know, English, he is, or he goes, or she understands. But he, modal verbs, must, can, could, no S, no S. <laughs> so example, he can go to the store? No, he can go to the store. He can goes to the store? No, we're gonna talk about that. But no S, no S. Here we go, here we go. Next rule, next rule. They make questions by changing the order of the words. So, well, let's look at some examples. She can go, question, you just change the order, it's super easy. Can she go? Can, can cans she go? No, she can go. Can she go? Okay, very simple. He will go. Will he go? Right? Uh, he should go. Should he go? All right, see you, Marianne. Right? Now here's the most important rule about modal verbs, the most important rule. Please read this carefully. Modal verbs are followed. Whoa, pardon me. They are followed by the base form, infinitive. They are followed directly by the base form. Okay, Vivek, thank you. The base form of another verb. Now listen, 
Listen, listen, listen. No two. No two. Must two? Will two? No! Impossible! Impossible! The only exception is ought to. Ought to is, is special. Ought to is very strange. Okay, but listen, many, many students write must to. No way! No way! No to! So we have a modal verb plus a base form verb, infinitive verb. No to! He must goes? Impossible! He must going? Impossible! He must to go? <laughs> no, don't, no. He must go. It's simple, it's easy. He must go, he can go. You need a base form verb, okay? And I think the, uh, the next slide, we're gonna talk about other expressions, other expressions. Now, English has other expressions but they're not modal verbs. They're not modal verbs. Here are some other expressions. Be able to. Be able to. Be allowed to. <laughs> I'm not upset, Valerie. I'm just joking. I'm just trying to make you guys listen to me. Have got to. Have to. Had better. Be supposed to. Okay. These are some other expressions, but these are not modal verbs. This is why students get confused. Let's talk about this a little bit, okay? I know this is easy for many people, but, but you have to... To understand more difficult English, you have to understand this perfectly. You have to understand this 100%. Now, he must go is a modal verb, right? Must is a, is a modal verb. What's a modal? Well, a modal means the question actually is must he go? Must he go? We just change the order. We just change the order. But what about this one? What about 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 he needs to go? Is this a modal verb? Why why is this not a modal verb? Why why is why is this tell your if your teacher if your teachers, here, here's, here, this is not a good idea, but I'm going to say it anyways. If your teachers tell you this is a modal verb, tell them they're wrong. They're wrong. Why is this not a modal verb? Why is this not a modal Think about the rules we just learned. Why is this not a modal verb? Why is this not a modal verb? Okay, Ekaterina, she wrote, well, look, 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 look. Make a question, you just put must here. So question here, modal verbs, needs he to go? <laughs> no, no, it's not, that's not good. We need special grammar, we need special grammar. Does he need to go? Right? Milena said, look, look, remember modal verbs no s, no s, no s. But here, need needs an s. Do you understand? It's not a modal verb. Also, one thing we didn't talk about, how do you make negatives? How do you make negatives? Negatives with modal verbs. Negatives. Just add not. Just add not. I can't, well, can is a bad example. I will not, I could not, I should not, I must not, right? I said can is a bad example. Why is can a bad example? Is this good English? Is this good English? Right? Is this good, good English? Can not. Is, is, is this okay? What, what's wrong here with cannot? Cannot. I'm a great teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Rosa knows. Cannot, I don't know why, but cannot for some reason in English is just one word. It's one word. Mightn't is super not common. It's not common, but it's possible. It's possible. Okay. So look, 
Just add not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just add not. Just add not. So let's go back here. He needs to go. Do we just say this? He needs not to go? Is that okay? Right? Is that okay? He must go. What's the negative? What's the negative? He must not. Ugh, sorry. He must not go. He must not go. So if need were a modal, we just put not here. No, that's not possible. That's not possible. This is terrible, right? We have to use present simple grammar. He doesn't need to go. He doesn't need to go. So do you guys understand that this is, you understand the difference between a modal verb and other phrases? Right? Be able to. You guys know be able to means can. I can go. I be able to go. No. I. This is not a modal verb. We have to change it. We have to change it. I am able to go. I am not able to go. Right? Have got to. Now have got to. We're going to talk about this today. Right? Have got to is not a modal verb verb so we must change it i have got to you have got to rosa has got to has got to um no french leo no cannot is not okay it's not okay i don't know why why you say that but cannot is not okay <laughs> it's not okay uh i don't know who told you that but this is bad english this is bad english okay um so please don't please don't think this is this is good English, okay? Um, cannot must be one word. It must be one word, okay? Um, yeah, manage to manage to is not here, but yeah, that's another. And look, have to have to very important English. Have to have to. I am a hundred and no, I am a thousand percent sure, French Leo. It's not correct, okay? Cannot is one word in English. I'm, I'm a thousand percent sure <laughs> I know this. Okay, um, have to is not a modal verb. That means we must change it, right? Remember, go back to must. He must go, he must not go, must he go. So what do we do for have to? What do we do for have to? He have to go? Is that good? Have to go? He have to? No, have to is not a modal verb. So we can change it. He has to go. He has to go. Yeah, I want is another phrase. Thank you, Nur Nur. But what about negative? He has to not? He has to not? No. No. What do we say? Well, he doesn't have to go. He doesn't have to go. He doesn't have to go. Okay. And a question, does he have to go? Does he have to go? So very different. Very, very different grammar. Okay. Very, very, very different grammar. So let's talk more, let's talk more about this. Let's talk more about necessity, expressing necessity, have to, have got to, and must. Okay, um, we can use verbs like must, have to, or have to, have got to, when you wanna say that something is necessary, when you wanna say something is necessary, okay? Anybody else having a problem with the video, or is it just nor nor? Because I, I think it's okay, nor nor. I think it's okay. All right, all right. Let's continue. Here are some examples. This all mean they all mean it's necessary. It's necessary. Okay. Children must do uh, must do their homework. Children have to do their homework and children have got to do their homework. This is all really kind of the same meaning, okay? It's, it's, it's very, very similar meaning. Must do, 
have to do and have got to do. They're all very popular in English. Don't ask me which one is more popular. They are all popular. But be careful of the differences in the grammar. Okay? Oh my goodness. All right. He must go. He has to go. He has got to go. He has got to go. Change it. He has got to. Negative. He must not because it's a modal. He doesn't have to. He hasn't got to. Sorry, I'm speaking loud, but this is important. He hasn't got to. Question. Now, must he work is not really common. It's not super common to use must in questions. Okay? It's not usually common to say must in questions. So if you want to ask a question, just use have to or have got to. Does he have to work? Has he got to work? Do you guys understand that? It, it's possible. Must he work? It's possible. But it's not super common. It's not super common. He has to go and he had got to go. Where is had got to go? Vivek, where, where is, do you see had got to go? I don't see had got to go. There is no had got to go here. Had got to is not possible. Okay. Only in the present. Only in the present. Okay. Everybody understands. Valerie has got to means have to. These all have the same meaning. They're all the same meaning. Okay. Understand? Now somebody's asking, Nitesh is asking me about, okay, well, usually we say have or has gotten. Right? Example, uh, present perfect. Present perfect with get, right? You guys know present perfect? I, oh, sorry. I have been or I have seen or she has eaten. And get, we usually say, I have gotten, right? Or he has gotten or we have gotten. Well, it's a different meaning, Fajr or Fajr. It's a different meaning, right? This, these mean, it, these are talking about necessity. It's necessary, okay? It's, uh, we need to do it, okay? All right. You know present, per <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we usually say gotten in the present perfect, but we have a special phrase in English, have got to. Have got to just means have to, which means must, which means need to. Don't worry about the differences right now. Don't worry about them. They are very, very similar. Okay? No, don't say must is stronger than have. No, don't worry about that now. Okay? Don't, it's, because sometimes yes, sometimes no. All right? All right. Okay, so when should I use have to and have got to? Valerie wants to know when do we use have to and when do we use have got to? Well, anytime. Anytime you want to say something is necessary. And have to, have got to, and need to, they're all kind of the same. Okay? They're all kind of the same. You guys understand, Valerie? I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. And I have got to go to the bathroom. They're all the same. They're all the same. Don't worry about the differences. Yeah, look at Rose's beautiful comment. You can use them interchange. You can change them. You can, you can, they're all the same. Okay, I need to go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. I've got to go to the bathroom. I've got to. We do this a lot. I've got to go to the bathroom. I've got to go to the bathroom. Yes, and Sebas, you, you understand. Very good. Listen to the pronunciation. Listen to the pronunciation here. Uh, I have to go. Let's listen to the pronunciation. I have to go. I have to go. 
I have to, I have to, have to, have to, I have to. Now listen, listen to this one. Do you have to go? Do you have to go? Have to, have to, have to, have to. Now listen to this one. Has to, has to, no. She has to go. She has to go. And now listen to the last one. Got to go. Listen, listen, listen. We've got to go. We've got to go. We've got to go. What did I say? Did I say we've got to go? No, I said we've, it sounds like this. Gotta, 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 gotta. I got a bathroom? I don't know what that means. I got a bathroom. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Gotta means got to. Okay. It means got to. So you, you should say, I got to go to the bathroom. Okay. Or I've got to go to the bathroom. Okay. Now in North American English, maybe British English too, I'm not sure. But North American English, let's look at this because maybe this is new for you guys, right? Many people say this, I've got to go. It's not good English. It's definitely not an academic writing, Alejandra. Okay, it's not good English. All right, yeah, like gonna or wanna. These are not, this is not good English. It's slang, it's not good. Don't write this for work or for university. No, don't do this. Okay, I've got to go to the bathroom. Many people say this, I've got to go. I've got to go to the bathroom. I've got to go to the bathroom. And many people just say this, I got to go to the bathroom. This is very common when we're speaking. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. But it means I must go. I need to go. I have to go. Okay? Yes, Raphael. Informal English. Informal. This is very informal. Okay, when we're speaking, we, we say this a lot. Yeah, urban English, yeah? Okay, let's continue. Some more examples, I think that's enough. Uh, we talked about this, the, the pronunciation, right? Okay, now what Valerie was asking, well, what, what's the meaning? Have to, have got to, and must all mean that it is necessary to do something. Very, very similar. Need to. Need to. Okay? Must is usually stronger in meaning and can express urgency or importance. It's usually stronger in meaning. So for emergencies or super important things, we, we can say must. So usually police officers say, you must stop, right? Or maybe Trump said, we must make America great again, Ugh. right? <laughs> all right, all right. Anyways, I have to go home. I've got to go home. I must go home. A little bit stronger in meaning. Okay, must, like Rosa said, must has a stronger meaning, but it is less common in spoken English. It is not super common when we're speaking. Usually English speakers use have to or have got to. Have to or have got to. Okay, so I would like the premium subscribers for homework, the premium subscribers, I would like you to practice have to, has got to, and must. Also, also don't forget, uh, don't forget about the basic rules for using modal verbs. I want you guys to practice this for homework. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay, so your homework tonight or be, uh, this weekend, okay, <laughs> like Sean, Sean has to study for a math test. 
Grammar 4.1, open the exercise. Remember, only premium subscribers can do this. Okay, file, make a copy, right? Okay. All right, and I want you guys to, uh, I want you guys to write, type some answers. Okay, now sometimes this happens, guys, when you, when you make a copy, premium subscribers. It, sometimes it takes a little, a little time. Okay, so complete the tables, right? She has to go. Here's an example. Doesn't have to, does she have to? Positive, negative, question. Remember, must, questions are not common, so don't do that. Okay, but you must write the sentences in the table. Please do number one. Let's go down. Please do number two. Okay, number one and number two. Please use have to for these sentences. Have to. Okay, please use have to. All right, and um, I think that's enough. Number one and number two for homework uh, this weekend. Okay. Um, if you guys would like to start doing homework to learn uh, English better, uh, sign up to become a, a premium subscriber, http.www.smart.me slash smart slash live. The link is under the video on YouTube, okay? The link is right there. You can, you can sign up to become a premium subscriber. Uh, remember, my class is every Tuesday and Friday at this time. Premium subscribers, please don't forget about the video chat every Wednesday, uh, every Wednesday at the same time as Mark's class. Please, uh, let's try to do this. Um, please come next, next week. Try if you can. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for today. Thank you, as always, I love doing this. Um, I, I love seeing the same students every class, and I love seeing new students. Um, so please come back on Tuesday. We will continue talking about this on Tuesday. Um, other than that, guys, have a wonderful weekend, and um, see, you, see you next week. See you on Tuesday. Bye now.